Hello lads and welcome back to my channel. So after yet another day, tiring long day of doing absolutely nothing, I am really tired. Why can't I talk properly? I'm really tired so I have a cup of tea to get my energy levels up for these next few videos I'm going to film consecutively. But the tea probably won't kick in until the end of this video so expect low energy throughout. Now for today's video, we are going to do yet another clown world. I haven't done a lot of clown worlds recently because all the news has been is corona related and I don't feel like reminding people of the current situation that's going on because it's not like we can get away from it. You look at Facebook, coronavirus everywhere, Twitter, the news, whatever. I don't want to talk about it on my channel because we're all fucking aware it's going on. So, a bit redundant talking about it, isn't it? So there hasn't been many articles worthy of a Clown World video, but I got sent this one today. Trading Standard Squad targets anti-5G USB stick. Oh yeah, this is a thing that's happening now. Trading Standards officers are seeking to halt sales of a device that has been claimed to offer protection against the supposed dangers of 5G via the use of quantum technology. Incredible. Amazing. Technology has come so far when we can put quantum engineering into USB sticks. Cybersecurity experts say the £339 5G BioShield appears to be no more than a basic USB drive. <laughs> Amazing. We consider it to be a scam. Are you sure? The fact that they've taken a £5, maybe £10 at a stretch USB stick and have remodelled it as an um, anti-5G shield you think that could be a scam. Interesting. Stephen Knight, Operations Director for London Trading Standards, told the BBC. His said his team is working with City of London Police Actions Fraud Squad. They are seeking a court order to take down the company's website. People who are vulnerable need protection from this kind of unscrupulous trading, he added. The intervention follows an examination of the device which was first reported by the BBC. The vendor, Bioshield Distribution had previously said the device was backed by research, but has not responded to the latest development. What research? I would like to see the research. I would like to see the sources. I could easily say this cup of tea is the most perfect cup of tea, and that's backed by solid research. And that's it, not offer anything. And who are you to say that I'm right or wrong? I think I just sounded like I was in favour of the USB stick. <laughs> Holographic nano layer catalyzer. Cat catalyzer. I was thinking of catalyst, whatever. The rollout of the new 5G mobile networks began in the UK only last summer and has not yet reached outside urban areas. Yet across the country, there is already a cottage industry offering protection against the supposed negative health effects, even though they have been dismissed by regulators and mainstream scientists. Have you seen people attacking the 5G towers? Did you see that someone set fire to a 5G mask, but it was actually just a normal phone mask? Was that a thing that actually happened or did I make that up? I can't tell. And that's very telling, isn't it? Well, I can't tell if I just made something up because people are acting a little bit ridiculous. Look, oh, I forgot to fucking put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video, I'm tired. I ain't no stranger to a conspiracy theory, or five. When I was 14 years old, I found the David Icke forums and it ruined my life. I myself love a little bit of the old reptilian theories and stuff because it just makes things more interesting really, isn't it? To consider that a superior race of reptilians could be pulling the strings behind the world just makes things more interesting because humans, boring, had enough of them. This 5G stuff though, nah, not into it. Maybe it's because I'm a millennial and any excuse to get faster internet, even if it melts my brain, so what? The 5G BioShield was recommended by a member of Glastonbury Town Council's 5G Advisory Committee, which has called for an inquiry into 5G. Say 5G one more time. One of nine external members, Toby Hall, said, We use this device and find it helpful. Jesus Christ. And provided a fucking boomer, isn't it? Sell anything to a boomer. Here, Mr. Boomer, wear this Fyodor Dostoevsky book on your head at all times, and it's so thick it will protect you against the rays of 5G. Take my no idea now, only £100 per book, and some fucking boomer, no offence boomers, much, would probably buy it. 
I'm gonna sell this book as an anti-5G helmet. Links will be in the description, they won't. Only because that's way too much effort for me. And provided a link to its website which describes it as a USB key that provides protection for your home and family thanks to the wearable holographic nano layer catalyzer which can be worn or placed near to a smartphone or any other electrical radiation or EMF electromagnetic field emitting device. For a process of quantum oscillation the 5G BioShield USB key balances and reharmonizes the disturbing frequencies arising from the electric fog induced by devices such as laptops, cordless phones, Wi-Fi, tablets, etc. It adds. That is incredible because it's enough faintly complex words that it would disarm and confuse the average boomer. When I say boomers, by the way, I don't mean baby boomers who are all 60 to 70 years old, and I don't mean exclusively people that are old. I think boomerism, it's a way of life, it's a mindset, it's like being a gamer, doesn't matter which age, nationality, race you are, it's a way of life. Or a cult. Anyone can be a boomer, even a 16 year old, though they would be called zoomers, I don't like that term, so it's just boomers. Anyone can be a boomer if they put their mind to it. The company's website suggests the owner wears the USB stick or places it close to their smartphone. Imagine just wearing it as a necklace or an earring. Someone would do that. If you told them, it will, if you wear it as an earring, it will protect your aura against the 5G rays. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, maybe we should just tell people. Wear these USB keys as earrings. The sun naturally emits 5G rays that is causing us all to go crazy all of the time. But if you go along with my idea, you will be safe from all of the radiation. And listen here, I watched all of Chernobyl, so you could say I'm something of a radiation specialist myself. Each of these USB keys costs £339.60, including VAT, though there is a special offer of free for £958.80. But at first sight, it seems to be just that, a USB key with just 128 megabytes of storage. That is nothing, that is pathetic. I could carry more storage than that in my brain. <laughs> well, I'd hope so. The human brain is one of the most complex things in the universe. So what's different between it and a virtually identical crystal USB key av available from various suppliers in Shenzhen, China, for around £5 per key, asks Ken Munro, whose company, Pentest Partners, specialises in taking apart consumer electric products to spot security vulnerabilities. And the answer appears to be a circular sticker. I have 300 quid for a sticker, that's incredible. I've come around, I think this is a brilliant idea, I'm going to open up my own store of anti-5G wearable devices. <coughs> I'm missing a trick here. Now, we're not 5G quantum experts, but said sticker looks remarkably like one available in sheets from stationary suppliers for less than a penny each, he says. Time dilation. Mr. Monroe and his colleague, Phil, yeah, proceeded to dismantle the USB key to find out if there are any whiz-bang electronics inside. But all they found was an LED light on the circuit board similar to those on any other USB key. Their conclusion was that trading standard bodies should carry out their own investigations. A search in company's house shows the two directors of Bioshield distribution are Anna Grochowalska and Valeria Lagheza. Both of them appear to have been involved previously in a business called Immortalis, which sells a dietary supplement called Clotho Formula. What the fuck is that? Cthulhu's diet. Its website, rather similar in design to that of the Bioshield, says Clotho Formula loses a proprietary procedure that leads to relativistic time dilation and biological quantum entanglement at the DNA level. This is shit posting on a completely different level. I have nothing but respect for the two of these people for finessing people with nonsense. But well put, well worded nonsense nonetheless. I don't actually think well done. They are ripping off vulnerable people or boomers and or just putting that out there i'm just messing around or am i this is a brilliant idea clotho formula time dilation biological quantum entanglement at the dna level <sighs> incredible get your dna quantum entangled with what with other bits of dna from your body what is the point in that you know quantum entanglement right <laughs> i've read a book or two Supposedly it can affect particles, like two particles become quantumly entangled and then no matter how great the distance, they're forever linked, blah blah blah, Einstein called it spooky science, didn't like it, tries to disprove it, couldn't, died, etc, etc. Quantum entangled particles are capable of exchanging information 
a distance of light years. And imagine your DNA just gets entangled with each other. It's like, well, from there to there. Pointless. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. Sensitive information. Miss Grocho Walska told BBC News her company was the sole global distributor of the 5G BioShield, but did not manufacture or own the product. I wonder why. The device had a sticker pasted onto it that was easy to remove. You fools! That was the shield against the 5G rays. That's it. Your brains are scrambled now. Too late. We are in possession of a great deal of technical information with plenty of backup historical research, she said. As you can understand, we are not authorised to fully disclose all this sensitive information to third parties from British reasons. That's fucking brilliant. We have all this evidence in our failure, but you understand. We can't just release it to people, then they'd read it and, and then what? That is a quantum leap in logic. This person is finessing in strange new ways never yet seen before by mankind or science or anything. And she rejected the suggestion that selling a £5 product for more than £300 is unreasonable. In regards to the cost analysis your research has produced, I believe that the lack of in-depth information will not drive you to the exact computation of our expenses and production costs, ex including the cost of intellectual property rights and so on, she said. It's therefore hard to take your evaluation seriously as you evidently not research the background facts in a meaningful way. That's incredible. That is the equivalent of her turning around and being like, educate yourself, sheeple. Oh wait, you can't. Meaningless. Brilliant. More dreams. Mr. Hall said his remarks in Glastonbury Town Council's 5G Advisory Committee report. Weird that Glastonbury Town Council has a 5G Advisory Committee. Does every town have that? Have I missed the boat on this? Why am I not part of like the East London one? <laughs> Where was my invite? It must have got lost in the post, obviously. I'm such a valued member of this community. Should not be seen as a recommendation to buy the product. But he had no regrets about buying it and since plugging it in has felt beneficial effects, including being able to sleep through the night and having more dreams. How is this guy on the advisory committee and I'm not? I am getting offended. I'm going to send an email to someone. Who could I email about this? Boris Johnson, now he's a bit busy. Sadiq Khan, he's not usually doing anything. I'm going to email Sadiq Khan and ask if I can be on some 5G advisory committee. This is ridiculous. I also felt a karma fields of the home, he told BBC News. Convenient that that's not quantifiable, is it? And he had thought the company might be able to develop a system that could offer protection to the whole town of Glastonbury against the effects of radiation from electromagnetic fields. Does this bloke have, like, power in Glastonbury? That is mad. It's worth noting, though, that the regulator Ofcom has published the results of the AMF measurements at 16 sites which were taken following the launch of 5G. It's said in each case, emissions were a small fraction of the levels deemed safe under international guidelines. How much power does that bloke have, seriously? If Mr. Hall can somehow get the entirety of Glastonbury, including Glastonbury Festival, protected from those harmful 5G rays, then he deserves a knighthood more than that bloke who did that walk for the NHS. This is the real hero, the real essential worker of this country. Yes, I'm being facetious. Don't look too far into it. It's not that deep. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. What else? Support me on Patreon if you'd like. And I might buy one of these USB sticks to see if it helps my brain from being exploded by all the 5G. See you guys next time. Bye.